Hi Yarnabees, how are you today? So I'm coming to you with another tutorial and this is going to be for the Blue Bell Beanie. This is the slouchy version, uh, but I'm going to make the beanie version today. And it's really easy to do the slouchy version. You just keep going with the rows until you get it to the length that you want. And then you start on the uh, ribbing. So what you're going to need for this is... I mean, you can use you can use any four weight yarn for this, but this is what I'm going to be using. Sorry, my ball's a little uh, misshapen because I was using it for the slouchy. But this is the Bernat wavelength from Yarnspirations. Uh, there is 223 yards, 204 meters. It's 100% acrylic, and it's a bulky five. Okay, now I don't think this is a bulky five, but I think it's a maybe a thick four, but it works for the what I'm using it for actually because it makes the makes the um, bluebells actually come out, so it looks kind of 3D. Whoops, sorry. The fairy's horns going and. Bailey doesn't like that. So. <laughs> okay, so I'm using that and I'm using Ber Bernat Premium. I get this at Walmart. Actually, I got both of these at Walmart. This is 329 meters, 360 yards. It's 100% acrylic and it's a medium four. So if you look at both of these, this one's a little bit thicker. But, yeah, it works out perfectly for this pattern. And then I'm using a 6.5 millimeter hook. Okay, now you may see some shadows here. Um, the sun's coming in at a weird angle. So as the sun kind of moves while we're doing this hat, this will change. <laughs> so, okay. So get your yarn and um, I will meet you back here. Okay, the way I start all of my beanies is pretty much the same. And I do this because it's easy and it's a no-brainer. So, um, yeah. So let's get started. You're going to do a magic circle. Now, you don't have to do a magic circle if you don't want to. Uh, you can just do like a chain, uh, chain three and then... Um, slip stitch into the first chain and make your loop that way okay but I'm going to do a magic circle and I'll, all I do is I wrap the yarn around my finger twice I put my hook underneath I grab the yarn that's in the back and I pull it through and then I grab the yarn again and I pull it through just to anchor it okay easy peasy okay now you're going to chain up one more, okay? Now you're going to do um, double, uh, double crochets in this loop, okay? You're going to do ten, uh, nine more. This first one is going to count as your first double crochet, okay? So you do double crochet, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you should have 10 all together. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Okay. Now you're going to take this um, unworking, unworked yarn. You're going to pull it. 
that's going to tighten your circle. Then you're going to go into your first stitch here and slip stitch. Okay. Okay, now you're going to chain up two. You're going to go back in that same stitch that your chain is in. You're going to do double crochet. Okay. Now you're going to do two, two double crochet in each stitch around. That's one. Go back in. And two. Go to your next one. Do a double crochet. Go back in again. Double crochet. And you're going to do this all the way around. And whoops, and you should have 20 double crochets at the end. Okay, so go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the other side. Okay, so I'm at the end. I just have two more stitches to go and I go in this stitch right here, right at the bottom of where your first set of double crochet is. Okay, you go right in there and do your last two. Okay, go into the top of your starting chain and you slip stitch. Okay. All right, now on to the next row, chain up two, go back into that same stitch and do a double crochet. Okay, now you're going to go into your next stitch and do one double crochet. Go into the next stitch and do two double crochet. Next stitch, one double crochet. Next stitch, two double crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around. Just two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. Okay? And at the end, you should have 30 double crochets. Okay? And I'll meet you when you get back. Okay, I'm back. I just have one more stitch to go. You should be ending on a single double crochet, just one double crochet. Go to the top of your beginning chain and slip stitch. Okay, now I, re I really suggest that when you are um, doing these rows, when you're finished a row, go back and count them and go back and make sure that you're doing the pattern that is there because sometimes you can come out with the right number but you've screwed up a stitch. I do it all the time because I'm, I've done this so many times I just blindly go through and do it and then I go oh wait a minute something's not right here. So just make sure that you go back and you go okay I've done two one two one two one and go all the way around and make sure that you've done them correctly. Okay, so you should have 30 stitches. Okay, next one, chain up two. Go into that, sing, that uh, same stitch. And you're going to do a double crochet. Okay, and then the next one, you're going to do one double crochet. Go in the next one, do one double crochet. And in the next one, you're going to do two double crochet. Okay. Next one, you're going to do one double crochet. Next one, you're going to do one double crochet. 
the next one you're going to do two double crochet. Okay, next one's one double crochet. Next one, one double crochet. Next one's two double crochet. Okay, and you're going to do that pattern all the way around. Just keep doing two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, all the way around. And then stop when you're done, go back and check and make sure that you've done it correctly. Okay, I'll be back when you're finished. So at the end of this round, you should have 40 stitches. We're going to go to the top of the first chain and slip stitch. Okay. Now, I'm going to chain up two, go into that same stitch, going to do a double crochet. Okay. Then you're going to go into the next stitch and do a double crochet. Go into the next stitch, do a double crochet. Go into the next stitch, do a double crochet. And in the next stitch you do two double crochet. Are you seeing a pattern here? <laughs> Do one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and that's going to be the pattern for this one. You're going to do two. One, 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 two, one, 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 two. Okay, so go and finish that. Go back, check, make sure that you've done it right, and then come back and I will show you what to do next. Okay, I'm at the end of the row. I have one more stitch. You're gonna go right into this stitch right here, this pretend stitch. <laughs> gonna go right, oops, right in there. And do your last double crochet. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to go to the top of the chain and slip stitch. Okay, now at this point, this is where oops, you're going to figure out how big you're going to want your, your hat. Okay, so you, you can make it for a child, you can make it for an adult. Excuse me, it all depends on the diameter of this part. And I will put a chart in here as well to show you what the measurements are. Okay, so this measurement's about six. Okay, so depending on the size of the head, it can be anywhere from five to seven inches. Uh, you know, I like to go a little bit bigger than this for a slouchy hat, um, but I usually go to, you know, how we did two and then three singles and then two. I usually like to go up to the four singles and then I figure out, okay, do I need it bigger or smaller? But like I said, I'll put a chart in here to um, show you how big you are going to need it. Okay, we're going to do one more row though. Okay, so you're going to chain up two. You're going to go into that chain the same chain or the same stitch I mean do a double crochet okay now we're gonna do four single crochets okay for next um, next stitch you're gonna do one double crochet next stitch is one double crochet 
Next stitch is one double crochet. Next stitch is one double crochet. So now you've got your four singles. Now you're going to do double crochet, a two double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, next stitch is one double crochet. 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 Next stitch is two double crochets. Okay, so you're going to keep doing that. Just two, one, two, three, four, then two, one, two, three, four, then two. And you're going to do that all the way around. Okay. And uh, I will meet you when you get back. Okay, so I'm at my last stitch. I'm going to go into that faux stitch right there. Do my last double crochet and slip stitch to the top chain. Sorry about the sun. Okay, uh, you should have 60 um, double crochets all the way around. Okay, now this row you may ha might have to omit that row if you've got a smaller size head. Okay, uh, but yeah, we'll just have to figure that out with the chart. Okay, now you're going to chain up two. Now you're not, we're not going to do any more increases. So you don't have to go into that stitch right there, you go right into the next stitch. And you're going to do one double crochet all the way around in each stitch. Okay, in each stitch. Just do a double crochet. And this round is what's going to start to curve your hat down. Okay. Okay, so you just keep going with the double crochet all the way around and you should still have 60 stitches. Okay. Okay, I'll see you when you get back. Okay, now this is where the fun begins. So you make sure that you've got your 60 stitches. Okay, you're going to slip stitch to the first chain. Okay, now you're going to attach your yarn, your next yarn. Okay, yeah, you can attach it however you, however you do your yarn attaching. Whoops, lost my yarn here. There we go. Okay, you cut that yarn off. I like to knot mine just because I like to make sure it's secure. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to hold, whoops, sorry. <laughs> just going to hold my my yarn ends down along the edge here. Going to chain up two. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to go into this the next not this chain that you have your um, uh, your chain in. <laughs> You're going to go into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over. You're going to go in. You're going to pull up your yarn. Okay. Pull it up a little bit. You're going to yarn over. Go back in to the same stitch. Pull up. 
Then you're going to go yarn over, go back in again, and pull up. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all of them. Okay? That's your bobble. Okay? Now you're going to chain up three. And you're going to do it again. You're going to go back into that same stitch. I'm going to bring you in just a smidge here. You're going to go back into this same stitch and you're going to do that again. Yarn over, go in, pull up. Yarn over, go in, pull up. Yarn over, go in, pull up. Okay? And then you're going to yarn over and go through all of them. Okay? Now you're going to skip two. Go into the third one. You're going to do that again. Yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up. Yarn over, go into that stitch again, pull up. Yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up, yarn over, pull through all of them. Okay, chain up three. Yarn over, go back into that stitch again, pull up. Yarn over, go through, pull up. Yarn over, go through, pull up. Yarn over, go through all your stitches. Okay, and this is how your clusters are going to go. We'll do this one more time. Skip two, go into your third one, yarn over, go in, pull up, yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull up, yarn over, go into the stitch again, pull up, yarn over, pull through all of them. Chain three, yarn over, go back in there, pull up, yarn over, go back in, pull up, go yarn over, go back in, pull up, yarn over, pull through all of them. Okay? So you're going to do that all the way to the end, and I will see you when you get back. Now remember, when you finish this row, go back and look at them, because sometimes you can get into a rhythm and you can miss doing the second leg of this. I've done it a couple of times. It's frustrating. So make sure that you have both legs on this cluster all the way around. Because you, I would hate for you to go and finish it and then go on to the next row and then go through and go, oh, uh-oh, and you've already cut your yarn. <laughs> okay, so make sure that you've got both legs. Okay, now we'll see you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end. Now I know somebody's probably going to ask me, when you're doing these puff stitches, how many loops are supposed to be on your hook? Um, they're supposed to be seven, okay? So when you're going in and you're looping over, there should be seven on your hook before you pull it through, okay? All right, so all together you should have 19 sets of puff stitches. Now that's all dependent on how big your hat is or how big or how small your hat is. But if you're doing it this size, then you should have 19. Okay. 
All right, so now we are going to skip all these. One, two. We've got one left. So this is going to be our 20th puff stitch set. Okay. So you skip over the two. You do your last one. One, two, three, chain three, go in again, one, two, and three. Okay, oops. Okay, now you're going to go to the top of this chain, right into that puff, the top of that puff stitch. You're going to find a little hole right there. You're going to go in there and you're going to slip stitch. Okay, there you go. Now that's your 20th set. Okay, now you go around, make sure that every one of these has its, um, its partner. And when you've figured that out, now you're going to change your yarn back to your main color. Okay. Cut my yarn. I'm going to knot these. Now, I'm going to hold your tails down. You're going to chain up two. Okay, now you're going to go in between all of your puff stitches and you're going to go and do three half double crochets. So, you're going to yarn over, go in the hole, pull up, pull through all three loops. Yarn over, go back in, pull up, go all through all three. Yarn over, go through the hole, pull up, and go through all three. Okay? You're going to go to the next one and do the same thing. Yarn over, go through, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through, pull up, go through all three. Yarn over, go through, go through all three. Okay. So you're going to do that in each one of the puff stitches. Do not go in between here. You're going to go in between your V. Okay. Don't go in here, go in here. Oops. Go to your next one. Okay. That's how it's going to look. Okay, so make sure you're not going in here, in between here. You're going through here in your chain space. Okay? Okay? And then that's your... Because when, you, when you've got to this point and you look and you're going, hey, my hat's really flat, well, that's okay. Because this row, it's what's going to bring it and curl it under. Okay, so don't worry about that. Just keep going in and doing your half double crochets. And I will meet you at the other side. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so we're at the other side. 
you should have 60 stitches all the way around, not including this one. This one doesn't count. Okay? And you should have three stitches in each. Okay? And then we're going to go to the top of this chain and we're going to slip stitch. Okay? So this is how it should start looking. Okay. Okay, now we're going to chain up two. I'll bring in so the light's not shining too brightly. The sun's going a little crazy here on me. Um, okay, now we are going to do a row of half double crochets all the way around. So we're going to start in this first one right here. Do one. Go into your next stitch. Do a half double crochet. Go into this stitch right here. Do a half double. Go into this stitch here. Off. Go into this stitch here. Okay. Go into this stitch here. This is kind of an elongated stitch, but if this stitch confuses you, just go into the hole and do it like that. Either way, doesn't matter. Oops. Okay. Okay, so we're just going in each stitch and doing a half double crochet. Okay. And if all works out well, you should have the same amount of stitches. As your last row should have 60 stitches. Okay, so I'll just go around, do that, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row. Now I'm going to go to the top of my first chain and slip stitch. Okay, now we're going to change our yarn back to the secondary color. Okay. Make sure that you have your 60 stitches around, okay, because you're going to need to have your the right amount for this for the next stitch. Okay. That is if you're doing this um, this size. Okay. There we go. Chain up two. Okay. Now, we're going to start doing this row again, but what I want you to see is you're going to see this block right here. That's your three stitches that you're going to be working in. Okay, so right in the middle, this stitch right here that's where you're going to be working into on each block. Okay? So you're going to go Oops, yarn over. 
skip one, oops, skip one, go into this one, and do your cluster. You're going to pull up, go back in, pull up, go back in, pull up, and go through all three. Okay, chain three. My hook's squeaking. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go back in there, pull up, yarn over, go in, pull up, yarn over, go in, pull up, and then go through all. Okay? okay. Now, you're going to go to your next block. Oops. Okay. Your next block is right here. Okay. You're going to go into that middle chain. Okay, so you're going to skip one. Okay. Oops, sorry. You're going to skip two. What am I saying? You're going to skip two. You're going to go into that third stitch. You're going to pull up. You're going to pull up. Go in, pull up. Go through all. Chain three. Go back in, pull up, pull up, pull up, go through all, okay? Okay, you're going to skip two, go into that third one, see how it's right above? Okay, you're going to go into that one and do your cluster. Chain three, go back in there, do your cluster. Okay, here's your next set. Skip two, go into your third one. Do your cluster. Okay, chain three. Go back in, do your cluster. Okay, skip two, go in, do your cluster. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Chain three, go back in, do your cluster, okay? Okay, no one, okay, oops, so when you're looking at it, should be pretty close to right on top of each other, but okay, okay. So you keep going, and I'll see you at the end. 
Okay, we're at the end and we've got one, two, three left. So you're going to go into that third one and you're going to do your last cluster. Chain up three. Okay, and then you're going to go into the top of this chain, into the top of your cluster, and slip stitch. Okay. Now you're going to change yarn again, and you're going to start your three row repeat. Oops. <laughs> Okay. All right. Now you're going to start your three um, double or uh, three half double crochets into your clusters. They chain up to go in between your cluster and in, in between your V into your chain space and do your oops half double crochet do another half double crochet and you go in and do another half double crochet. Go in between into your next V into your chain space and do your three half double crochets. Okay, do your next one, do your half double crochets. Keep going all the way around. Boy, this sun is just really being a pain. <laughs> okay, so I do this all the way around and I will meet you when you get back. Okay, so we've done our 60 stitches all the way around. We're going to go to the top of our stitch here, slip stitch, chain two. Okay, now we're going to start doing our double crochets. So you're going to go, sorry about this light guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go into that first stitch, do your half double crochet, go to the next stitch, do your half double crochet, go into that next stitch, half double crochet, okay, and then you just keep going, doing your half double crochets all the way around and in a perfect world you should have 60. Okay. Okay. I will see you when you're at the other side. Okay. So I'm finished my stitches all the way around. Now at this point, try your hat on. If you want it to be a beanie, then it should sit around your um, top.
top of your ears to mid middle ear. Okay, if you want it to be a slouchy, continue this three row repeat until you get it to the length that you want and then come back and uh, start the brim. Okay, so this fits me pretty good. I thought I was going to do another row, but I don't think I'm going to. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your original or your um, highlight color. Okay. I'm going to tie this off. Okay. All right. little bit here. Sorry about the light. I'm going to go up here a little bit. Okay, you're going to chain up two. Okay, now you're going to go into your next chain and you're going to go and do it, or your next stitch. You're going to do a double crochet. Go into your next stitch, do a double crochet. Next stitch, do a double crochet. And you're going to do a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Oops. Okay. And just keep going all the way around. And I will see you on the other side. Okay. Okay, I'm at the end. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain. I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to bring you in a little bit. Whoops, wrong way. I'm going to do a front post, go down and up underneath that stitch, pull up your yarn. Oh, hang on. <laughs> okay, yarn over, <laughs> go down and up underneath that stitch, pull your yarn through, and finish your double crochet. You're going to go un in behind, put your um, hook up through and down the other side of that stitch, pull your yarn under, and finish your double crochet. Put your yarn, your hook down underneath that stitch. Pull your yarn through, finish your double crochet, yarn over, put your hook behind, pull it up and over top of that stitch, pull your yarn through, finish your double crochet. So you're going to do front posts and back posts all the way around. Put your yarn, put your hook down underneath and through. Pull your hook out. Finish your double crochet. Yarn over, put your hook behind. Put it over top of that stitch. Pull your yarn through. Finish your double crochet. Okay. You're going to do that all the way around. Okay, now this is where you have a choice. 
You can do two rows of this, or you can do three rows of this, depending on how how wide you want your brim or your yeah brim. <laughs> okay, I like to do three rows just so it gives you a thicker brim. Okay, so just keep going, <clears throat> excuse me, keep going all the way around and I'll meet you at the other side. So I'm finished this row, so I'm going to go to the top of this stitch and slip stitch. Okay, I'm going to chain up two. Okay, now you're going to be able to tell what your front post is and what your back post is because one will be up front and one will be in back. Okay, so you're going to go on the front post and you're going to do front post. Okay, yarn over, go around that post, pull through, finish your double crochet. <coughs> okay, the back post is right here. Okay, yarn over, you're going to go in behind that post, bring your hook up and down, pull your yarn through, and finish your double crochet. Front post, put your hook in behind that post, pull your yarn through, finish your double crochet. Yarn over, go in behind, pull your hook up and over that post, pull your yarn through, and double crochet. Okay, and you're going to keep doing this all the way around your hat. Okay, and if you want to stop at this row, you can do that. But if you want to go and do another row, you can do that exactly the same way that this row is done. Okay. Okay. Alright. So I will see you end of this row and you can fin you can uh, attach our uh, slip stitch to join up here and then you can fasten off and weave in your end okay there you have it there is your bluebell beanie and slouchy. There you go. So I hope you liked that tutorial and I would love to see what you come up with and post a picture on my Facebook page. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. I would love to see what you guys are up to and it doesn't even have to be this pattern if you've made anything. I'd love to see it. Just go post it on my Facebook page. That would be great. Okay, I love you all. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.